everybody welcome back to this random journey today is day what is today babe 14th 13th 14th it's the 14th so it's day 14 of our book a week challenge i am reading in love your life not theirs by rachel cruz and i'm also reading in hello fears um by michelle polar and of course i'm reading my bible in my Bible today, I'm in First Kings still, and I was reading about all kinds of different kings, of course, like taking the throne and that kind of thing. Um, there was a couple really good stories in there. I'm trying really hard off the top of my head to remember them. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to remember to tell them that one. And of course, now it's completely gone. So um, if I think of it, I'll tell you guys. In the Love Your Life and Not Theirs book, um, it's a lot, been talking a lot about the Dave Ramsey kind of principles. This is Dave Ramsey's daughter. And me and my husband have already went through the Dave Ramsey process for the most part, like all the baby steps and stuff. Um, so I kind of was quick reading because I knew like a lot of what she was talking about. And then it got, finally got to a couple, uh, things that I, I've been struggling with more or less. And that was um, uh, making a plan for your money. So budgeting after you have gotten out of debt completely, budgeting. And so I sat down after reading in this book today and I sat down and I made a budget for me and Michael to go over this evening. <laughs> um, so we're going to be looking over our budget. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> we're going to be looking over our budget today or this evening. Uh, just going over that really quickly, I sat down, like I said, made uh, this cool little spreadsheet and it has uh, where it automatically like updates it when you put plug stuff in and it has like little charts and graphs and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about it. I love doing that kind of stuff. And, and yeah, so anyways, that's what that book led to today. <laughs> and then I read chapter um, seven in Hel Hello Fears, which is the book that sparked this whole a book a week thing um the title of chapter seven was hello growth and she was talking about um overcoming the what did i get myself into kind of mentality after you start to uh, grow and start to take off on whatever you've decided to kind of leap into <laughs> and so she talked about two different things uh behavioral inhibition system and the behavioral activation system. She said the behavioral intubation system focuses on the risks. So um, she likened it to a story where she was talking about going out on stage for her 100th fear, which was a TED talk. And the uh, person who was supposed to be uh, giving her kind of a pep talk said, what's the worst that could happen? And uh, she started thinking of everything that could go wrong. <laughs> And then she said she turned that around and she used the behavioral activation system to focus on the rewards. What is the best that could happen? And so she, she said that we need to make sure we're not focusing on the negative of what could possibly go wrong, but instead think about all the things that could go right if we followed after the things that we uh, are afraid to to kind of take the leap and do. Uh, what could go go right? What could happen? What what? amazing things could happen in our lives if we just, you know, looked at the positive, right? <laughs> All right. So then, um, she talked about growth over comfort and how, um, when we are being comfortable and we've talked about this for several, most of the book, actually, that when we are in our comfort zone, that they are the choices that will keep us, um, right where we are. We won't grow. Um, but if we want growth, then we need to get out of our comfort zone and um, that those will be the choices that will lead you towards the dreams that you have and that you that you're aspiring to to reach. Um, then she talked about the six stages of the process: um, discovery, denial, determination. Uh, what in the world am I doing? Action and celebration. And she talked about how there's these the six stage process to all of our like ideas. Um, she says a lot of times our ideas don't even get to um, the discovery phase. Like we kind of just let them go as soon as they come into our mind. We'll say, oh, that would be so cool. Da, 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 da. And then there's like, oh, that would be cool. But 
that's not going to happen. So you just let it go. Um, but instead going in depth and actually, you know, following that path and going through all those phases. Um, so whenever you get to the end, you can celebrate and that you have achieved or maybe you have failed. Like we talked about, I think that was yesterday about failure, um, and learn something. Uh, and then it talks about how growth is the uh, scariest option, obviously, because it's the one that gets us out of our comfort zone and um, push forward towards whatever goal it is that we are trying to achieve. A quote that was in this uh, chapter, this chapter of the book, was you will either step forward into growth or step back into safety. And that was Abraham Maslow. Um, so I thought that was a great quote. Uh, there was, uh, throughout this chapter, places that she wanted you to, like, write down, um, and different things. And so, for, uh, for example, she had a place where you needed to write, should I? And then you would write, should I? And then, um, you would kind of list out options one and options two, like, am I going to grow? Am I going to, um... <laughs> He's letting Susie in because she's dying to get in here. Lay down. There she is. <laughs> she can't stand to be away from me. Um, anyways, having all your options. And she talked about a story um, when her husband was planning on quitting his job. And how he texted her a picture of his boss It was sitting across from him and said, I'm getting ready to quit my job. And it was a picture of his boss like unaware and she said no no don't quit your job let's talk this through and so he came home they got takeout and he had these huge post-it notes and they put them on the walls one was pros and one was cons and um they began uh doing that the pros and cons list of you know what could go wrong or what could go right and uh anyways it was a great chapter again um i'm really liking a lot of this book um uh, there's been a few things that i've had to kind of skip over or skim through because it's not something that um, i necessarily agree with but uh, it is a great book and i am learning a lot um so yeah if you liked this um video make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe because we are doing daily vlogs this uh right now is our week uh a book a week challenge but i do challenges and just stuff that we do throughout our days um all the time so if you like this kind of content please make sure to subscribe and i will see you again tomorrow the black jelly beans are the best I love you, honey.